Living underground sucks. Sure, we've got all the creature comforts, such as oxygen recyclers and gadgets to turn urine into drinking water. But the truth is, we've been here way too long. Well, welcome to my humble abode. Would Madam care to try the freeze-dried steak? Well, as your honorary house guest, I would prefer the vegetarian option. Oh, but of course. But, uh, it appears we're all out of freeze-dried vegetables. Please accept the steak. Well, I do need my protein. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we're the lucky ones. Bucket's full, guys. I think. Some government agency decided to take the common cold and pump it full of steroids. And, well... Big surprise! It got out. The air is poison. The outside world is a mess. We live like moles, unbreathable air, it's total chaos, and I'm pretty sure everything's dead. If it weren't for Maxine Lydard, I would have wished I was dead a long time ago. Maxine is great. She's the only thing that <laughs> keeps me sane. Yeah, and uh, over there is the North Star. You're right. I think I see Orion's belt right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's not his belt. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. Yeah, there's no time to lose. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, no, uh-uh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> She's smart. She's entertaining. All these different she gets me. little pieces together. Quite simply put, she's my best friend. Aloha. <laughs> We've been down here a long time. It's not the first time we've talked about this. And it shouldn't be the last. And no. I know nobody likes it, but we have to send somebody up top. Why? Because we're running out of rations, and we need to know whether or not the air is breathable. It's the only suicide. way. It's suicide. He's right. It, it's fair. <laughs> The debate is over. The decision has been made. Everybody needs to take a slip of paper. We all go together. You asleep? No. You scared? What do you think? You know, I was going to open up a little flower shop. I was saving up some money and I almost had enough. silly to think about things like that, you know? No. No, it's not. Do you think I'll ever be able to breathe up there? Do you think I'll make it? I think you're gonna get up there and you're gonna breathe the freshest air you've ever had. I think the world's gonna be just fine and the air's gonna be just fine. And I think you're going to be fine. And one day we'll look back at this hellhole and we'll just laugh. That's what I think. Yeah. Time is a funny thing. It's like air. It's invisible. It's intangible. And you never really miss it until it's running out.
Maxine Lidard is my best friend. She's the only thing that keeps me sane. She's funny. She's entertaining. She's smart. She gets me. And I love her. <laughs>